Hello and welcome again to another GED Express screencast with me, teacher Marco here at Phuket Pals. Today we'll talk about um, a certain topic that might come out on your GED social studies test. Um, it's good to know this part of history uh, because um, it might show up. We we never we never know if it's gonna show up on your social studies test. You might be having some questions related to this topic. Um, and one technique that I use when teaching uh, this topic to my students, or not only this topic but other social studies topic, is by the use of timeline. Um, if you try to learn a concept based on um, a certain timeline that you have created in your head, it would be easier for you to recall these particular information. So let's start. The year is 1954. And during this time, um, the Supreme Court rules in Board versus a uh, Brown versus Board of Education of Topeka, um, and this it means that the segregation in U.S. public schools are ruled unconstitutional. So now, segregation in schools um, that are operated by the government will be removed okay so uh, no more segregation among public schools and uh, you know uh, this marks a victory for the NAACP attorney Thurgood Marshall now and NAACP stands for National Association for the Advancement of colored people so they focus this certain group focuses in the development of of uh, uh, of colored people or for African American people um, and they have one lawyer who works for them and that is attorney Thurgood Marshall, and he was able to handle this case. Um, and of course, Marshall later returned to the Supreme Court as the country's first black justice. There's actually a movie about his life. Uh, you can just check it out. I think it's available online on Netflix. And it's good to know or to learn about this lawyer's life um, if you're interested in knowing more in depth about Thurgood Marshall you can check that movie um, and in 1955 there are two uh, situations that happened um, so in August 28 14 year old uh, native of Chicago Illinois native Emmett Lewis Till was murdered in Mississippi while visiting his family. He was killed for allegedly whistling a white woman. So they found his body mutilated. Um, and it's, uh, uh, it's a sad thing you know, that happened in 1955. The worst thing was that the two suspects were later acquitted by an all-white jury for Till's murder. So the case becomes catalyst for civil rights movement. Another catalyst uh, for the civil rights movement is this um, another uh, event that happened in 1955, December 1st. NAACP member Rosa Parks arrested for refusing to give up 
her seat at the front of the collared section of a Montgomery bus to a white passenger. So Montgomery community launches a bus boycott. So the boycott lasted 381 days, more than a year. And uh, buses eventually were desegregated um, the following year. <clears throat> which is another victory which was catalyzed by this unfortunate event. In 1957, um, Reverend Martin Luther King Jr., Charles K. Steele, and Fred L. Shuttlesworth established the Southern Christian Leadership Conference. King is made first president of SCLC. SCLC becomes major force in organizing the movement. And um, with that, King urges participants to forever conduct our struggle on the high plane of dignity and discipline. In 1957, um, this is uh, the Little Rock Nine, uh, these uh, students here. Basically, the Little Rock Nine, uh, there are nine African American high school students um, set out to integrate the all white school, which is the central high school in Little Rock. Um, hence the name. So students were blocked from entering the school uh, because of Governor uh, Orval Faubus. So federal troops and national guards were sent by President Dwight Eisenhower, then President Dwight Eisenhower, to intervene. Okay, so a lot of bodyguards. <laughs> for the Little Rock Nine. In 1960, February 1st, Woolworth's segregated lunch counter for black students from North Carolina Agricultural and Technical College conduct sit-in. They were refused of service but allowed to stay at the counter. Event triggers many similar, a similar nonviolent protests throughout the South. So a lot of sit-ins and parks, swimming pools, theaters, libraries, and other public facilities integrated because of similar efforts. Same four students were actually served lunch at the same Woolworths six months later. Mm, what an achievement! What? Uh, an achievement. It's, it's awesome. Uh, the same year in April, the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee was founded at Shaw University. This gave black youth a place in the movement and it grows into a more radical organization uh, led by Stokely Carmichael. And, um, well, uh, Stokely later coined the term black power. 1961, the Freedom Riders. The, uh, both black and white student volunteers took trips to South during spring and summer to analyze segregation laws of interstate travel facilities. They are sponsored by the Congress of Racial equity and the SNCC. Of course, they were attacked by angry mobs. This is the South. All right, so uh, in 1962, October 1st, James Meredith becomes, becomes a first black student to enroll at the University of Mississippi, uh, a Southern University, of course. 5,000 federal troops sent to Mississippi due to violence and riots stemming from integration. 
and now by the orders of President John F. Kennedy, the troops were ordered or were deployed um, In 1963, uh, April 16, Martin Luther King was arrested and jailed in Birmingham, Alabama during anti-segregation protests. And he wrote the legendary letter from Birmingham jail. So the letter argues that individuals have the moral duty to disobey law. Um, yeah. And on May, in Birmingham, Alabama, uh, the Public Safety Commissioner uh, Bull Connor uses fire hoses and police dogs on black demonstrators. What an awful person. Mm. And the images were published nationwide and televised. On August 28, 200,000 people, more than 200,000 people, marched on Washington, congregating at the Lincoln Memorial. And Martin Luther King Jr. gives his legendary speech, I Have a Dream. September 15, the same year, four young girls were murdered while attending Sunday school when 16... Street Baptist Church in Birmingham, Alabama was bombed and riots following the bombing resulted in the deaths of two more black youths. Um, yeah, on June 12th in Jackson, Mississippi, 37-year-old Medgar Evers uh, Mississippi's NAACP field secretary was gunned down outside his home. Byron uh, Dello Beckwith tried twice, both resulting in a hung juries, convicted 30 years later. In 1964, the uh, 24th Amendment abolishes the poll tax originally instituted in 11 southern states to make it more difficult for poor blacks to vote so the poll tax is uh, yeah you're paying a tax to vote uh, which is awful um, and freedom summer so the council of federated organizations uh, a network of civil rights groups that includes CORE and SNCC. They launched a massive effort to register black voters. On July 2nd, President Lyndon B. Johnson signed Civil Rights Act of 1964. And on August 2nd, bodies of three civil rights workers were found in Earthen Dam in Neshoba County. They were murdered by police officers who were members of the Klan. Had been working to register black voters and investigating the burning of a black church in Mississippi. A lot of awful events, a lot of hatred. <clears throat> in 1965, February 21st, Malcolm X was shot to death in Harlem by members of the black Muslim faith. Um, well, yeah, uh, Malcolm X is the founder of the Organization of Afro-American Unity. Um, and on March 7th, Bloody Sunday, in Salma, Alabama, marchers were tear gassed, whipped, and clubbed by uh, the police. On August 10th, Congress passes Voting Rights Act of 1965, which makes registering to vote easier for Southern Black voters. And on August 11th to 17th, race riots happen in 
Watts, Los Angeles. And on September 24th, Lyndon B. Johnson enforces affirmative action uh, for Executive Order 11246. In 1966, October, Militant Black Panthers organization was founded in Oakland by Hugh Newton and Bobby Seale. So, uh, this is an awful year. In 1968, April 4th, Martin Luther King Jr. was shot to death at age 39. He was shot as he stands on balcony outside his hotel room in Memphis. <clears throat> now, after that, um, here are the events that happened. Um, in 1971, busing becomes legitimate means for achieving integration of public schools. 1988, Congress passed the Civil Rights Restoration Act. Um, and in 1992, First race riots in decades erupt in South Central Los Angeles after the acquittal of four white police officers accused in Rodney King beating. Uh, this is awful. I think there are some um, videos of this. Uh, this is a, I mean, um, a controversial case. On the night in the uh, in the nineties, uh, in two thousand four. Imagine two thousand four, Emmett Till's murder case was reopened. And two thousand five, Rosa Parks dies at age ninety two. Two thousand six, Coretta Scott King, wife of Martin Luther King Jr., dies of stroke at the age of seventy eight. And. 2007 when Emmett Till's 1955 murder case is officially closed. There you go. I hope that you enjoyed this particular timeline. Again, like what I said, this is one method of um, learning history. It's good to have a, a, a picture in your head of this timeline just so you have a background in case you will encounter some questions related to the civil rights movement um, on your GED social studies test. And uh, I want to thank you for your time today. And if you want to know more about us, please go ahead and check our Facebook page. That's facebook.com slash Phuket Pals. And you can also check our website that's bookatpals.org. Thank you so much for your time and see you on our next video. Bye-bye.